I was an existentialist, Nietzschean, God is dead, I'll do what I want to do. A hedonist. There, there was um, inside of me real hostility towards Christianity. Uh, in one minute I was fine, I was talking, and in mid-sentence I was on the ground kicking and screaming. So I had been living from moment to moment, trying not to die. And now I knew it was time to um, let it happen. Said goodbye to my wife, and I uh, closed my eyes and went unconscious with absolute certainty that that would be my last sensation, my last thought. But I opened my eyes, and there I was standing up in the room. I had aw awakened to be more alive than I'd ever been in my entire life. So I heard people outside the room calling me by name. They said, hurry up, let's go. We've been waiting for you. They became scary enough, and it was so dark that I said, I'm not going with you any further. It's best defined by uh, what wasn't there, which is a world of um, hopelessness, a world of um, lovelessness, a world with no light. More so, I was just lying there, um, completely ripped up, destroyed physically, and more importantly to me, destroyed emotionally, psychologically. There was no way out. This was a completely this was it. I heard a voice that sounded um, strangely like my own voice, and I don't know where it came from, but it didn't come from me, but um, it said, pray to God. Um, I called out into the darkness, Jesus, please save me. And when I did that, a tiny light appeared in the darkness and got very, very bright. And it was um, a much more intense experience of being loved than anything I'd ever known in my entire life and some other beings of light came and were hanging in space around us. And Jesus basically wants us to be compassionate people and to care about each other and to care for each other. And he asked me if I had any questions and I said, I've got a million questions. And he said, go ahead and ask whatever you want. So I went on and asked him everything that I could think of at the time to ask him.